Today, we will be dealing with the Wilhelms. Now, Richard Wilhelm is a uh, Jesuit missionary who went to China, and he was a Sinologist, a language expert, and he had a son, many sons, but particularly Helmut Wilhelm uh, did what his father did, uh, but he went even further than his father did with his work. Um, both of them were devoted to the I Ching, or Book of Changes. Um, Hel uh, Richard Wilhelm went to China as a Jesuit missionary, and their basic outlook as uh, doing missionary work was to not do any missionary work at all until you knew about their culture, uh, how they acted, or their language, how to speak to them, what they read, what their influences were, and all that. So the first thing that uh, Richard Wilhelm did when he went to China was to do that and to converse with them and to learn about their culture and be sympathetic to everything they did and said. And actually, they became very respectful of him because of that, and they allowed him to learn from them some things they would not have given to any other missionary. Uh, in fact, one of those things was about the I Ching, Yi Jing, or Book of Changes. Now, because of that particular relationship he had with the Chinese culture, there was one particular man who was an expert in this, who worked with Wilhelm to write the Book of Changes into German, of course, because he was German. And then what he would do with every segment he wrote, he would give it back to that Chinese teacher uh, to translate it back into Chinese and see if it matched what the Chinese actually was. And that's what they did back and forth for quite some time. And it did take quite some time. But this is how we got what's called the Richard Wilhelm translation and commentary on the I Ching. Now, because of what he did, his son, Helmut, had all that information already. But he went further than his father did by learning more about the Chinese culture, its vast history, all the, all the kinds of languages that it was in, and about the I Ching itself by going further into the ideas, concepts, and uh, human applications of the I Ching in life uh, than his father did, although his father, of course, wasn't extremely good at that. Um, so one of the interesting books we have here, as you will see, is called Understanding the I Ching, Wilhelm Lectures on the Book of Changes. And now, as you see on the bottom there, who are the lecturers? Well, you see first Richard Wilhelm, and then on the top, Helmut Wilhelm. So in the first part of this book, you have lectures, and there are six of them. Uh, eight, I'm sorry, eight lectures given by Helmut Wilhelm. And um, these are excellent. And then when you get to Richard Wilhelm, they will be in the next section where you go all the way to his work. And uh, you will see there uh, also great lectures on the I Ching. Uh, lectures on the I Ching, Constancy and Change is the first lecture. One I'm particularly interested in, I will share with you in a bit, but let's go do that next time.